going to do one wheel kick from Universal number seven. Now, in reality, there are four wheel kicks, which is going to be covered in another video. Uh, the link will be below, and there's a link from number four, four wheel kicks put together to how to do a, a single wheel kick. To do a wheel kick, um, it's different from a hook kick. I will demonstrate how to do it. So I'm gonna work. So first of all, I've got to get the pad at the correct distance. I'm in a right stance. I can almost touch it. So that's about the correct distance. Now I'm hitting the pad for demonstration purposes for the form it's done in the air. So the way we do it, my hands are up, I turn, I spin. Now, some people spin on the heels. It's very unorthodox, very difficult to do. Personally, I spin on the ball of my foot. So the first thing I try to do is keep my weight forward. The second thing is this leg is totally relaxed and I elevate the heel. I turn the opposite direction slightly. I leave my arm, I pull my arms out, my arms go out and then they come in. The leg is on the floor to the final second and I whip that leg round. So what I don't do is travel like this. And notice how straight the leg is. Also I don't travel with a bent leg. It's not a hook kick. So I turn and spin round. So one more time. Turn, slightly drop, drive forward. So that's how you do the spinning wheel kick from universal number seven and there are four linked together. Follow the link and it will show you how to put the four kicks together from number seven which is one of the video that's most requested from parents and students how to do the perfect wheel kick. That's how you do it.